Today's morning devotional. A hidden treasure. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Matthew chapter 13 verse 44. Without the kingdom of God we are lost, and are without hope in the world, but salvation has been provided for us through faith in Jesus Christ. He is the treasure, and when the rubbish of the world is swept away, we are enabled to discern his infinite value. The divinity of Christ was as a hidden treasure. At times when he was upon earth divinity flashed through humanity, and his true character was revealed. The God of heaven testified to his oneness with his Son. At his baptism the heavens were opened and the glory of God in the similitude of a dove like burnished gold hovered over the Savior, and a voice came from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. But the nation to whom Christ came, though professing to be the peculiar people of God, did not recognize the heavenly treasure in the person of Jesus Christ. The majesty of heaven was not discerned in the disguise of humanity. He was the divine teacher sent from God, the glorious treasure given to humanity. He was fairer than the sons of men, but his matchless glory was hidden under a cover of poverty and suffering. He veiled his glory in order that divinity might touch humanity and the treasure of immense value was not discerned by the human race. The Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, John chapter 1 verse 14. The treasure indeed is hidden under the garb of humanity. Christ is the unsearchable riches, and he who finds Christ finds heaven. The human agent who looks upon Jesus, who dwells by faith on his matchless charms, finds the eternal treasure. Christ does not use this parable to commend the man who hides the treasure until he can buy the field, but his object in using this illustration is to convey to our mind the value of spiritual things. To obtain worldly treasure, the man would make a sacrifice of his all, and how much more should we give for the priceless, heavenly treasure?